Wonderland. Primo back at it again with another unboxing video. Today, we have one of my favorite things on Earth. A nice, huge pile of goodies from HighSpots.com. It's been building up a little bit. What can I say? Family's not too keen on me recording at midnight when I get home. The glories of Night Shift. Anyway... We have uh, three different things here for you this week. We have a prize from a Boxamania. We have a prize from the Plinko Game of Doom. And we have a special mystery box, including a mystery autograph Funko. All right. I've been waiting long enough, so... <sighs> Let's get ready for the unboxing. Oh, thank you. So, we will start with this. So, if you've been watching, you know on the Thursday show, uh, the Virtual Gimmick Table, Tommy's been doing some games. Some of them have gone better than others. There was this coin flip game that he thought was going to be easy, but nobody understood at all the way he did it. That this one was a Plinko game. Uh, it was 25 bucks a shot. There were all sorts of various prizes. I think the top one was like an Edge Funko. Uh, there was, of course, DVDs, because at this point, Michael will do anything to get rid of DVDs. I'm pretty sure if you offered him a million DVDs for a dollar, he would seriously think about it. And I end up getting something that... Honestly, wasn't really what I was hoping for. Nice ad for the gathering. I ended up hitting artworks. I believe it's three signed artwork. Um, yeah, three. Uh, this was a $50 one, so that's not bad. As you know, artwork is not really my favorite thing. I've kind of started collecting it just because I've gotten so much and I don't have time to go to the post office. Let's see, first, this one's a high spot COA. We have. World Class Maniac. Eric Young, uh, Sanity. Thought that was him. Interesting artwork. Not my favorite. I honestly thought those guys were going to amount to a lot more than they did. I don't know what happened there. Old school high spot CUA we have. That one's nice. Broken Matt Hardy. It's kind of cool. Matt Hardy's already always a good hit, and he's probably pretty close to what I paid for the whole thing, so that's a win. And then finally we have... Oh, um... I always get them confused. It's not the Hollywood Blondes. It's the new version. Um... Varsity Blondes. Ugh. Not bad. Brian Pillman Jr. and his tag team partner. Hmm. I don't want those. those. Promo? And a random signed promo of Tessa Blanchard. This might have been a Plinko prize, too. I didn't... I don't remember. I don't know why I got it, but I got it, and I'm not going to complain. I like her. Hopefully she does some more stuff. I don't know where she is now. Alright, up next is my uh, Boxamania prize. Um, so this one was a little weird, because this was the first time they didn't sell out Boxamania, despite absolutely loading this thing with prizes. 
It was a hundred dollar one, which is on the high end for what they do with these. And I think just with the state of the world right now, a lot of people just couldn't get into it. So it kind of stunk because I was at work, so I really couldn't watch. Could get away with a little, but not a lot. So what they're doing is if they opened it and nobody had it, you could just straight out buy it. So it would have been kind of fun to be able to try, but, you know, Dems to breaks. This was Boxmania all day, every day. Yeah, I think they had um, three different 24-7 belts available. Plus there was some Ring of Honor replica belts. I want to say there's some other big prize in there, too. Let's see. Yeah, first, we have Mr. Gerald Briscoe, known for Attitude fans as one of Vince McMahon's stooges, but a very accomplished wrestler of his own back in the day. Actually, a fairly important executive in uh, WWE for quite a while, too. Next up, we have JS Aid. <laughs> the man I can't help but escape in Boxamania. Mr. Paul Heyman. I do have a couple of him, although I do like the uh, barbed wire around the fist there. That's a nice touch. I don't know if I'm going to keep that one or not. And then finally, we have... A very old school WCW NWO promo of Mr. Chris Jericho. I'm going to be honest, I have no clue how to tell if it's an original promo or a reprint. If anybody out there knows, please drop me a comment. But always good to get Jericho. He's not cheap. And I don't think I actually had any WCW stuff of him, so... That was pretty cool. Let's see. Up next, we have the mystery box. I think there's some DVDs in here, too. Never cut towards yourselves, kids. Bad things can happen. something special in here, too. Here is the mystery box. It is in the Mankind Funko lunchbox from uh, GameStop. And here's the special thing. So, during the shows, they've been having you share the stream. Some of us cool people were sharing it well before they started doing this. And they give away a prize each time. And lucky me, I hit the prize apparently. And I got an autographed photo of IWGP some sort of champion, Mr. Switchblade J. White. The Beware the Switchblade inscription as well. And another inscription I'm having trouble making out. That is really sweet, actually. I think I have him, I'm not sure, but... Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Especially for just hitting the share button. Okay, so let's see what they sent me for lunch. I think this is supposed to have, I want to say they said an autograph Funko, an autograph trading card, three other items, one of which they were strongly hinting might be a mask. Unsigned, but you know, a mask. I'm going to try to do this so I can't see what's what. I think this is my training card. And I got... Glare! 
Orange Cassidy from a... Is that a GCW set? Since his time in AEW, his price is like doubled, so... Certainly not a bad hit. I think they said their cheapest trading card is like 40 bucks. Uh, I was 100 for this box. Or 99, so you didn't get free shipping. Let's see. So, uh, here's a mask. Uh, this is one I actually have. Try to tear it open, and I've got a knife right next to me. This is, of course, the Patriot, Mr. Del Wilkes. I have one of these signed. Unfortunately, they used the wrong ink, and it is fading, and that is such a bummer, because certainly you won't be getting another signature of his anytime soon. But it is a cool mask. Maybe I'll just wear this on the 4th of July. That should freak out some customers. You can always get it signed by uh, Tom Brandy. Oh, an action figure. I feel like I've seen this somewhere before. I don't know where. <laughs> Apparently they have a whole bunch of loose Kevin Owens figures. Figures. And a pack of WWF Superstar stickers. I actually had this book when I was a kid. Though I was horrible getting the stickers lined up. Right. I know this thing's probably worth like a billion dollars, but I gotta open it. I believe the camera gets these. We have the Million Dollar Man. The British Bulldog Shin. One of the Bushwhackers. Sensational Sherry. Is that Hercules? Hercules! And Marty Jannetty. How do I wish they sent the book so I could at least put these in them? These were always so much fun. Alright. I think the last thing is the Funko Pop. So I'm obviously hoping for somebody I don't have. Obviously higher value is better, but their cheapest is like 60 so either way I hit my value easily on this box. Somebody I don't have, somebody really cool. So it's probably going to be somebody I have. And it is... Edge. In blue. JSA. I do have him, which is a bit of a bummer, but he's not a. He's popular. I might try trading him, might save him for a giveaway, we'll see. Now I haven't been producing enough content to really get a lot of uh, new subscribers, but maybe that'll change. So yeah, certainly happy with that. I want to say this pop was like 75 80 when they headed it up. And it's probably gone up from there, so not a bad hit. And now I know nobody will mess with my lunch at work. I think, oh! It was the second pack of stickers. That is a nice surprise. Ooh. The Legion of Doom! Um, a cross-section of Hulk Hogan's face. Oh, sweet. I think I got the second part of this. Ooh. Oh, sweet. I got a full Hogan in here. Oh, no, wait. I got two different Hogans. That's horrible.
Those multi-piece stickers are always so evil. They'd always end up like, Hey, if you're missing ones, you can send us a dollar a sticker. There we go. Nice little keepsake lunchbox. That will probably get trampled by the dog when it gets knocked over. So yeah, a um, very nice pile of goodies this time. A very nice surprise autograph that I am quite happy to get. A pretty good box of mania prize, even if it wasn't a grand prize. I know this has been a bit of a long one, but there was a lot of stuff here. So, did you take part in any of this? Did you get anything cool? I think they only did ten of these mystery boxes, so... I'm curious what anybody else got. Especially if they got a Razor Ramon. That one's haunting me. Alright, if you enjoyed this, shoot that thumbs up. Anything to say? Any comments about this? If you took part, got anything cool? I'm missing anything, or you really, really, really want an edge pop? Shoot, hit me up in the comments. You know, I love hearing from you guys. Ding that bell so be notified whenever my videos go live. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. So always be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes.